What's quack a lack in there, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Pwn, and today we're going to be taking a look at another Taken King weapon review. Today we're going to be looking at the Arms Day gun, the hand cannon, specifically called the Judith D. And can, can we protest? There's a lot of things that need fixed in Destiny, but can we get this thing renamed? Like, I'll fill out the forms, uh, I'll pay the fee, whatever it's got to do, but I cannot stand the name Judith. I mean, replace it with any other name from any celebrity you can think of or person you know. Like, JLo, what if it was Judith? Right? Judith Lopez? Judy from the block? No, no, no. It just doesn't work. Sounds a little better when you call Judy, but Judith... Oh, God, no. Judith Claude Van Damme? See, it just doesn't work, guys. So, but anyways, pushing the abortion of a name aside, I really do not fancy this gun. Um, I, I had a lot of success with it. It's not like the worst or most unusable weapon in the game. You, you blink, you'll miss the game. I think I stack up a sum of all tiers using it. So it's not the most impossible gun in the world, but it's definitely on the lowest tier of hand cannons. And where hand cannons are not the strongest in the world right now, that says something. This gun falls into the old category that the Timmer's Lash used to fall into. And though that was a favorite, understand that hand cannons have since changed and have become less effective. So with that, understand it's not the most most reliable in the world it's the highest impact slowest rate of fire and because of that the time to kill will dwindle because every hand cannon is a three to the head four to the body to kill this one just takes longer to shoot therefore it's not the most reliable weapon to choose from so let's take a look at the stats oh my god I hope there's no bulls watching right now that's a lot of red that's crazy dude that's more red than like a new monarchy parade that's ridiculous but of course some of that is kind of fake faux red if you will there's really only three tiers of hand cannon damage output. You've got the lowest rate of fire, highest impact, reverse that, and then you have the one right there in the middle. So, to be honest, I mean, that red is kind of understandable, seeing as how there's only three categories to work with. So, the impact is really, really nice. Obviously, that's the strong suit of this weapon, but again, like I said, where every other hand cannon in the game can still kill in three headshots, this gun does not stand out too much. The next tier down can actually kill in one headshot, two body shots, just like this weapon. So, it's not the most fancy in the world. Everything else on this gun is kind of slacking too. The range is about the only thing working for it, but it's still not enough to save this gun and be worth mentioning. When you have things like the Down and Out, the new Waters Star, even the Is Luna and the Hulk Moon right there in that middle tier in that sweet spot, there's just really no reason to ever equip this. The good news though is <laughs> there are no brothers or sisters. This is the only gun in year two that is in this type, this damage tier and rate of fire tier. The only other gun that shares this is the exotic first curse. I know it sounds weird, but that's exactly how it works. This thing does 95 to the head, killing in a second flat with three shots total. 64 damage everywhere else, killing in a second and a half in four shots. So as you can see, every shot takes about a half a second to get off. That is a whole lot of downtime. 120 rounds per minute, coming in with a 60% aim assist, which is not half bad. The reload speed at it. Oh my god, already. <laughs> 3.61 second with a bullet remaining. 3.9. It's a four second reload speed on empty. Who has time for a nap between rounds? This gun does. Seven mag capacity, totally not helping its cause. So, on paper, this thing is not very fancy. In reality, it's even worse. So, can you find success with this weapon? Yes. But it's really just not got a place in this game. Now, if you are capable of getting this thing from Arms Day, perks that you want to look for and prioritize on this weapon are in the first perk you want to look for something like crowd control in a weird turn of events crowd control will actually put it above the threshold so that this gun can kill in two shots after getting a kill again that's the hard part but it can be done hot swaps also a smart choice you are going to be swapping between your primary and your secondary a lot more because you're not going to have time all the time to swap and do a four second reload so that is one of the few times that it does come into play in the second perk you're looking for range fire more range can't hurt outlaw or feeding frenzy will be ideal reload speed is one of the worst in category and that's something you really need to focus on this weapon range you can steal with stability you can manage because even though it is bad you have so much downtime between shots to relocate back to center screen to get your shot back on point the final tree you want to look for hand loaded speed reload high caliber rounds or reinforced barrel all of those are smart choices in the end this gun is definitely reserved for the vault it's not got a lot of strengths at all but it's not the worst gun in the game either thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed this gameplay be sure to leave a like on it support it subscribe for future taking king gameplays and if you started to reload your judith before this video began you may be almost done you may want to check on that i don't know